All right, stay off grid here again, trying to stay out of the wind. It's not too much today. Um, and I've got a problem with my mower. So I've been getting a flat battery and each time I had the flat battery, I just used this to start. I was searching all over the place for the battery. Couldn't find it, had to get the manual out. I found it now, so taking a couple of covers off here. All right, so to get this cover off, there's usually a screw here and there that you can just undo with your fingers and there's a latch. I just, I don't use the screws, I just use the latch. Anyway, so that opens this. Now that just, once that's opened that far, you can see the screws in there that I've, that I, that's where I keep them. And there's another two screws there. And what you need to do now is pull this yellow bit up and it comes straight off just got little clips that go there so that's off now now we just need to undo these two Alright, so once you pull those two screws out, you can then grab the whole basket and just turn it around until it goes up out of the top, out of your way. Now, there's a Phillips head screw here that I can get into. Once that basket's out of the way, you can get to that screw. And then that just pulls out. The battery's down the front here. I've got to get this light off to get that battery out. Now, okay, so what's happened, hopefully you can see that, there's a hole I've run into something, and there's a hole and all the water's leaked out. Now, it doesn't look like it's, it's done a little bit of damage. When I'm about to say, I'm about to say it doesn't look like it's done much damage, but then I looked a bit uh, further. <laughs> and it's um, pushed in one of their cells. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape that up and then I'm going to fiberglass over it. I'm going to put, um, I'll take the little chip out that's, that's stuck into the uh, cell. There's a, like the plastic's pushed into it. Um, and yeah, fiberglass it. So it's great, put water back in it, put it on charge, put it back in and let's hope that it lasts. I've got a, um, there is a actual front like uh, bull bar on for this which was into that bolt and into that bolt um, I what I did <laughs> stupid me I had to pull this out of a little hole and there's hooks here to do that and I put it on the front of the bull bar and Yes, this is what's happened. It's pulled the bull bar out. So I've got to smash those back in and put that bull bar back on because the bull bar protects that battery. So there you go. All right, go get some tools and uh, get into this. Now to get this off, there was a nut here, a screw here. I've taken that, that one out. Before I take this next, uh, bolt out I just pull the lights out there because they're gonna hold it back so there's another light out and then one more put them over there Get under this one. Spanner fingers. All right, get that 
screw so I don't get that screw there. All right, so now this should come off. There you go. And clean this battery off. All right, so I've got to find another spanner for those. Go get that, eh? All right, so I've undone the two positive and the negative, and battery's there. So now I'm going to take the battery into the container and fix her up. All right, I've cleaned this battery off, and now we're going to fix this up. So turn it over. I've got to get that plastic out all right so it's a little bit oh that's just soft i thought that was hard it's their soft cells it they may be all right so i'm going to just have a go at fixing it all right so i've just used gaffer tape to cover it but now i'm going to put some fiberglass mat across the top of that all right well i've never done this before but um yeah two sheets on there and some fiberglass should do it i reckon all right, so goes with the glass on it. Um, I don't know if this is going to set properly because I had this uh, fiberglass. Now, what happened was that I had the hardener on top of this with gaffer tape over the top of it to hold it to keep it with the fiberglass. When I pulled the gaffer tape off, along come the label which is where the instructions are and also on this one where the instructions are so I put extra in because if you make it a hot mix it sets quicker but I still don't know I've, whether I've put enough or not enough and if it's not enough it's um, gonna be a bummer really but we'll see what happens all right well it's gone it's a little bit tacky but it um, hasn't been too long. I'll give it a bit longer and see how it goes. Might need more glass on it. Uh, there's a patch here. hasn't got much fiberglass on it. Or resin, sorry. So I might have to fix that up. All right. Well, this is all hard now. So I'm going to put some water back into it. And then charge it up. All right. So we've got it connected up. Charger here. Showing 25% to 50%, so we give that about an hour or two, and we'll put that back in the mower. And then we'll clean up this bench, because it's getting very, very messy. All right, so we're at 100% now. Take that off, put it back in. All right, so before I put the battery back in, I've attacked this with a hammer, bent that a little bit, so that's a little bit better. This is still bent, um, but I've hit it, smashed it with a hammer. I can't get that in any further. So I'm just gonna see how I go getting this back on. I felt these were all bent as well, so I've bashed those back in. Now they had like a mounted, some sort of mounted uh, screw. Uh, I've just got to see what bolts I've got and it's not probably not going to be easy to get it back on but we'll um persevere and hopefully that that way i can put the battery back in and if i hit things it won't damage it all right battery's back in now i'll just give that i've got to sit on the seat to start it Just give it a start just to make sure before I put everything back on. Um, I don't want to chuck all this on and then work out that the battery's still not working. So it's working, put it back together. You gotta to love the Japanese. That battery, <coughs> that battery has nothing holding it down, right? So it can just move, jump around. And I'm going off over rough terrain, so it'll be bouncing around everywhere. But this light, at the bottom of it has these two little rubber uh, extrusions so once the mount once the light gets mounted back in 
the battery can't move anymore. So they've used one part to secure another part, but they're both functioning parts of the thing, of the our mower. I think that's great design. All right, so that's that light back in. I've put the cables back. I've put the cables, uh, the lights, actual light globes back in there and the rubber seals back on. All right, continue on. All right, well, that's the front cover back on. Now I just got to put this bull bar on. All right, well, that's the bumper bar back on. Not very straight. It's there, bent up here a little bit anyway. And that bolt there, I can't tighten all the way, but I've got to come up with another idea. But anyway, it's pretty much done. All right, I'm Star Off Grid. That was fixing the mower. <laughs>